I beat two records at the Orlando Regional Tournament for Pokemon. How's it going YouTube? So in this video, I'm recapping my time at the Orlando Regional Tournament for Pokemon, where I set two records and got a few wins, actually. It was pretty fun. So the first record, I actually have the, uh, the thing they give us here. The first record was actually for the highest attendance ever recorded. So they gave us a little, uh, little little tag here it says record breaker 2024 and it says orlando it's a little luggage tag it's pretty cool um they also gave us a playmat i can't show it because it's kind of my uh my uh what's it called <laughs> it's kind of a mouse pad uh let's see oh they also gave us this card it's a little promo card with the regional champ uh, not championship but like the tournament on the bottom left uh other than that i would say the tournament was really fun um for my first ever tournament it was it was pretty easy my friends and i um the night before we were actually freaking out because i saw on reddit that you had to bring in your team sheet um and we didn't have a printer so around 11 o'clock at night we went to a walgreens that was still open and printed out our team sheets just in case uh turns out when we get there they were like yeah we print those out for you so got less sleep than needed <laughs> um it was really fun we got our teams um our team sheets started the first match i went up against this guy i believe his name was mark he was he was the hardest not the hardest uh competitor uh, opponent that I had, but I believe he was the one that went the furthest out of all the ones that I faced. I think he went six and four. Uh, then I went up against this guy named Brett, where uh, my Arbok team actually kind of went how it was supposed to go, and I got a win. So that was really cool. Um, after that, I went up against a guy named Wesley. Awesome, really cool guy, super fun. His favorite color is purple, so like my favorite color is purple. It was really cool. Um, got to go against him, had a blast. Really cool guy. Um, then I went up against a guy named Marshall. Super cool, very fun. We were all just messing around. He had this, um, he had this, oh, I forget the name. Oh my gosh, why can't I think of the name? Um, not Reggie Lecky, Reggie, Reggie Drago. <laughs> wow. Uh, he had a Reggie Drago team, and oh my goodness, it was insane. I was getting one shot like crazy. Somehow it went to game three, but it was really fun. Um, awesome guy. We were laughing around all, all the people around us. The funny thing with that one is we kind of got yelled at. Um, <laughs> no fault to, to us or the person that yelled at us. It was a misunderstanding, but they made the announcement to, to start battling and it is kind of hard to hear cause we're all talking and everything, but we hear it. So we like, you know, we say good game, good luck on the game. And we start battling everyone around us is doing it too. And then this person that's like volunteering comes up to us and goes, you were not supposed to start the match. I caught you on match zero. Don't do anything. And you'll restart. And we're like, um, but they said we could start, like everyone's saying, you know, good luck. So they went to someone else and they're like, did, did they announce that we could start? And like, yeah. So she, they come back to us and like, I'm so sorry. Uh, you can continue playing and have fun. So we continue. But the only thing is that first round uh, of choosing our moves, we had 10 seconds to choose both of our moves. We're like, uh, so, uh, yeah, but I got wiped. It was really fun, though. Uh, great guy. After him was my fourth match this against a guy named Christopher. Super cool. It was, was his, I think it was like his second tournament that he's done. It could be wrong. Uh, I have a few uh, clips that I'll be sprinkling through as well. I might have already done so. Uh, but I was playing against Christopher. He was really cool. 
Um, he liked my team. Everyone seemed to like the Arbok, even though Arbok is nowhere near competitive. So it, it was really cool to see everyone like going like, wow, you actually you brought an Arbok. <laughs> um, and then let's see, after that, I went against someone named Albert. He had a double genie team close to what Wolfie Glick's team was that won the tournament actually and yeah, I got destroyed <laughs> uh I just got swept like I could not I didn't know what to do um around this time me being stupid I was getting a caffeine headache and it just kept getting worse and worse and I'd already gotten to the point where I wasn't making it to day two so I just I just quit um not quit but like I stopped that's stopped playing and we had to, all the the rest of us we just kind of headed home because we didn't make it to the next day and we were all kind of we were tired so we get back to to steven's place and i'm checking the standings of the next round which i believe was round seven and i look and i got a win not even being there which i thought was insane and the only two things i could think of was the first one they just kind of randomly chose between the two people that weren't there because like my opponent probably wasn't there either or uh what it was was that my opponent wasn't there for the last two games and i wasn't there for the last one so because i only missed one and they missed two i got the win those are the only two things i could think of but to end the video i'm gonna say what the other record i broke was now this one i'm not as sure of but i believe i was the only person to bring an arbok to the orlando regional tournament now again I said I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty positive I was the only one. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this journey we're having on po on YouTube with Pokemon. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I try to stream on Mondays uh, at 7 p.m. Coming up in the near future, that's going to change a little bit. Not because I'm changing the days, but because I'm gonna be getting really busy. I'm going to be having to go out of, not out of state for work. Actually, yeah, out of state for work for one, for, for one thing. Out of town for another. And both of those are going to be back to back. So there's going to be times where I'm not going to be able to stream just because I won't be home. Uh, but I'll try to keep you all updated with posts on YouTube so you know. And other than that, I hope you guys have a good one. And I look forward to being on stream in like next next week or probably like the monday before depends on when this goes up but have a good one y'all deuces